Okay, so now that we have VS Code up and running, we have a project, let's get going. And let's talk about some of the awesome features in VS Code. For instance, we basically have access to any of the things that we would normally have in any of our other text editors. If you want to go to a particular file, you can always hit Command P and then we can just start typing. Now what I like about this is it has your most recently opened files right here. So if we were to type a letter, you can see it's giving us a whole bunch of this stuff from the Meteor Build folder. I can exclude all of that stuff easily enough and we'll show you that. However, it's nice because it gives you the stuff that's most important up top and then the stuff that's less important as you go. Now we can see here, just you can hit enter to open a file. Now, a common issue that you might run into when using VS Code is that you'll notice when we open a file, its name is italicized right up top here. Now this is a standard feature for many text editors, so it may not be an issue for you, or you may be used to it just opening the file straight up. Now, if it's italicized, that means this file is not open. It means it's just a quick peek. Now, if we were to select another file, let's just select this app, you can see it actually replaces it. It doesn't open a new tab, and we can select between these and it never opens a new tab. Well, how can we get this to open a new tab? Well, if we click in it, you can see certainly not doing anything. However, if we hit enter, we get this so it's no longer italicized. And even if I undo that change, it's no longer italicized and this file is completely open. Now, does that mean that this is the way you have to always open a file? Now, if we double click on one of these, instead of just single clicking it, you'll notice it opens it up as well. If we single click on another file, it opens a new tab. And if we head to the tab itself, we could double click on the tab and actually keep it open. Command W will close your tab and command option with the arrow key left and right will change your tab. Now, if you're used to Atom or Sublime, command and a number such as command one is not going to change your tab. So you'll find yourself, or at least I do, because my fingers are so programmed to do command one, two, three sort of thing, and you hit command one and you're gonna be a little annoyed. But if you do just command option and go left to right, that will still work for you. So as you can see here, we have this sort of differentiation between sort of peeking in files and opening them up entirely. And if you get confused, always just look at the tab bar itself and the italicized text will tell you whether or not you're peeking or you're editing a file. At any point you actually start editing a file that you're peeking into, right? then it instantly becomes a file that will stay open until you close it. So there is a bit of differentiation there between open files and peeking in files in case you're just looking at the code. Now, you may be noticed if we hit Command T, it starts with this pound sign. If we were to start typing, uh, you can see here, what this is searching for is symbols. So in fact, I started typing the word item and you can see in this file, there is an item class. So that comes up. If we were to select this and this were a long file, it would scroll you to this item class. However, we also have items in imports the API items and we have item one, item two, and these other things. So it's looking for various functions and classes with the name that we're searching for. This can come in extremely handy However, I noticed in larger projects, it is quite a bit slower and I usually just prefer to jump right to a file. However, let's say we wanted to go to the add items method here, wherever this is, we could select this and it jumps us and highlights that line directly. Now, this is a really nice way to get around your code if you know the names to your methods and you're looking for a specific function, method, class, whatever, it's gonna help you jump right to it. So like command P for files, command T for symbols. And if we were to do command shift P, you'll get all of our different commands. Now this is going to be stuff that you're used to with sublime text. For instance, in sublime text, you pretty much have to do everything through this command menu. In VS code, it's not necessarily like that. We can install in extensions and do get stuff through this toolbar, do find and replace stuff through there. But we do have options to, uh, add cursor above, add below, add line comment, debug. We have, de we have developer options. You can see we have Emmet, we have extensions, we have files, 
focus, full level Git. I mean, we can do anything you would want to in VS Code through here, and you might want to come in here and do some stuff, and you might almost never open this. To be honest, I don't find a ton of reason to come into the uh, command window here like this when you have options over here or you get keyboard shortcuts memorized. But one thing I do love is that the keyboard shortcuts are right here. If you need to know how to clear your terminal, it's right here. Now, if I'm in this file here and I hit command backslash, uh, it opens it up both here and here. So it splits the window, keeping it open in both places. A lot of times I'll have like my styles over here and my main code over here, and I'll just go back and forth. Now, one thing you'll notice is that we mentioned before that command one, two does not change between tabs, but it does change between windows. So if I'm in this left window here and I hit command two, you can see I'm now active in the right window. Command one sends me right back, and that'll work if you break this up anymore. So command one, two, three will change between all three of these. If you have a nice wide monitor, this gets really nice. Let's close this. And what's really cool here is that sometimes I split open and have the same file open just to sort of see code elsewhere, right? Let's say I wanted to check out my container here while I'm working up top here, I can keep the same file open. And if I were to make any changes, it would happen in real time over here. Obviously, uh, you know, that's important because this is the same file, right? You don't obviously want it to be any sort of different there. But either way, this is a split window. Now what else do we have up top here? We have these three icons. This icon is the split window, which you can see is just command backslash like we saw before. Inside of here, we have show opened editors or close all. And right here is something really nice. If we click this, this is the show changed. So what's the difference between these? Well, this is essentially the difference, what's changed since your last commit. And this is where the file is now. You can see it's showing that we deleted the space and it doesn't have a line number. What's really nice about that is our line numbers stay intact. Now we could come in here and you can see this in real time. If we hit enter here, you can see that we've added a line here. And just like that, we can see the differences between what we've changed really quickly. If you're working on files, uh, a lot of times, you know, you're working really closely with Git, you'll want to know exactly where your files are in the sort of commit. Well, how do we get out of this view? Well, we can click this icon right here. And that switches us back to our editor view. So in addition to the changes view, there's a lot of nice built-in Git tools of which we're going to go over in later videos. So this is the general interface for VS Code. This is how you get around your files and sort of how you use it really. So in the next few videos, we're going to be talking about just some of the nice features in VS Code. We're going to be talking about some extensions, themes, whatever, anything that you want to see. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.